the Mississauga Creates. I'm Angela Chow and I'll be chatting with our local creatives, showcasing the many talents in my community, Mississauga. Today we're joined by the very talented established vocal artist of the year in 2019, singer, songwriter, Arlene. Hi Arlene. Hey, thanks for having me. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm excited to chat with you. So tell me a little bit about yourself. For those that uh, we're just meeting now, I'm a singer songwriter from Mississauga. I've been hustling for 10 years now and uh, touring all over Canada, the States. I got to travel to the UK and Europe for a little bit also. And I also have a company called Let's Make Good Productions. And our goal is to spread empowerment through art. And we do that through putting events um, before all this, this uh, new, new norm. I would put events on called Wonderfest and Wonder Woman or Superman to showcase artists all, from all types of medium, not only singer songwriters, but visual artists. Um, we had poetry, spoken word artists, comedy, um, every, all kinds of different, different art, you name it, like performance arts. Um, we had some dance at one point, we had some film and digital art as well. And right now, um, during this time that we can't travel, I've um, and putting on Wonderfest World Stream series and have invited my friends that I made throughout my tours all over the world. So I'm hoping to to have some fun on Instagram. Why do you create and what is your creative process? Why do I create? I almost feel like it's part of it's become part of breathing now. Like uh, creativity has just been part of my my being as a as Arlene. And I, and I encourage that too. And I know that you encourage that also, and it's great. And the goal is to, to, you know, ignite that, that creative flame in others, because it's, it's a different form of, um, for me, it's like freeing and it's like, uh, I'm letting a piece of myself be expressed without saying anything. And it could be for me, it's through music, it's through playing piano, singing. For me, it's like freeing and it's like uh, I'm letting a piece of myself be expressed without saying anything. And it could be, for me, it's through music, it's through playing piano, singing. And other times it could be through creating an event and um, putting together people to perform. Creating for me is just, it's what I've always known and I almost feel like if I can't or if I'm not able to at that moment, I'm gonna figure out how to do something creative. How do you feel before you create and how do you feel after? Is there a change in emotions? Something like me when I paint, I put all my emotions in. If I feel depressed, I paint and afterwards I have like this sigh of relief. So how do you feel as a singer songwriter? But like after something's created, initial part of creating something especially when it's tied in with an emotion is to kind of release it as an introvert i find escape in it and then as soon as it's finished i've abandoned it because i learned from a friend of mine mike schlosser who who's a producer he said a quote that all art isn't finished it's just abandoned you can continue to create but i feel like once you've once you feel like you've allowed that emotion to kind of sit it is a huge relief I do feel relief after <laughs> it's created. Who is your musical inspiration? Many people that have started my love for writing music. Um, someone I always talk about is Rain Maida from Our Lady Peace. And um, a lot of Canadian artists like Alanis Morissette, Chantal Kriabiazic, Sarah McLaughlin, Holly McNarland, a lot of those very, that they were introduced in the 90s, especially when I was listening to a lot of music, it ignited this urge to write. And then I found that I, I loved it and I would write so many things. Those have been my biggest influences, a lot of Canadian alternative rock. So what has helped you get through these self-isolation periods? Are you creating? Are you writing? Are you journaling? Before COVID-19, I rehearsed with my band. I didn't put much time to rehearsing on my own. Or if I was doing a solo show, then I would put in time, but not as much time as I've been putting in now. Like I'm practicing an hour a day, which I should have been doing before, but now I'm adding another hour. 
and also like trying to figure out how I can still be active in the community and giving opportunities. So I've developed this this world stream series twice a week on Instagram from LMG Productions. And it was cool. I had my very first one recently. It went really smoothly. It was like um it was like a real show, but not didn't have to deal with um people loading in or like taking their time to get onto the stage or like the changeover and all that stuff. It was just like, they were already ready in their homes. So yeah, that's what I've been doing to stay creative to, and, and to still have a, um, an impact on the community. Have you created anything during this pandemic? Have you finished any songs? I haven't finished any songs. Currently I'm co-writing with my, one of my good friends and guitarist, Kevin Dvorak. I'm trying to, to do something every week to send to another friend of mine, The Identity Crisis, just to keep my my creativity on point. If I have different deadlines, that helps me work more efficiently as opposed to like, oh, I, you know, I'm just gonna work on this a little bit here and there, so. How does music help your mental well-being? I think that music is all around us. I'm sure that everyone's gone through a really crappy relationship, a friendship, you know, went sour, and then they find like the saddest songs and they just wallow in that. It's like, it allows them to just dive into it and, and just wallow along with those, those notes and those words. And then there's other songs that like, if I'm cleaning or if I'm working out, there's like songs that'll pump me up. I think that music is extremely essential, art forms to help us get through our day. A silent room, there is still sound. Like, I'm sure people will have earworms that come up in their head. Someone might ignite a melody with just a simple hum, but music is all around us. And also um, a good friend of mine, Frost Costa. I remember him speaking about, we all have a heartbeat. It's rhythmic, it's like a constant rhythm, but that's the music within us too. So I think it's, it's super important to just listen, to create music, anything. How are you helping this pandemic? I am helping this pandemic by staying home because we need to really flatten this curve and I'm hoping that we get to enjoy the summer outside. Can't wait to to like be around friends. Making the best out of it, trying to stay positive. So where can everyone find you online? Because everyone wants some Arlene in their life. I hope so. That would be fun. Um, Please follow me on all my social media, if you want a quick link, you can just visit my website, officialarlene.com. But Facebook and Instagram is Arlene Official Music. And Twitter, I hardly use it, but you can find me there. I'll challenge you to find me. This music video I'm gonna share with you guys is my last single called Leave Me Alone. My drunken eyes heavy
I hope you enjoyed this interview with Mississauga Creates. I'm Angela Chow. We were just chatting with Arlene. If you like this video, please subscribe down below.